Pilot-operated relief valves are designed to accommodate higher pressures with higher flows being confined to smaller frame size than a direct-acting relief valve with the same rate of flow capacity. The valve is built in two stages. The second stage includes the main spool held in a normally closed position by a light, non-adjustable spring. The second stage is large enough to handle the maximum flow rating of the valve. The first stage is a small direct-acting relief valve, usually mounted as a crosshead on the main valve body and includes a poppet, spring, and adjustable knob. The second stage handles full rated flow to the tank. The first stage controls and limits pilot pressure level in the main chamber. Relieving action through the main spool is as follows. As long as the system pressure is less than relieving pressure set on the control knob, pressure in the main spring chamber is the same as pump line pressure because there is no flow through the control orifice and consequently there is no pressure drop from one side of the orifice to the other. When pump line pressure rises higher than the adjustment set on the control knob, the pilot relief poppet moves off its seat. This starts oil flow from the pump line through the orifice, across the pilot relief poppet, and to the tank. This restricted flow caused by the orifice creates a pressure difference between the pump line and the area across the pilot orifice. This pressure imbalance causes the main poppet to move off its seat. This will discharge enough of the pump flow to prevent any further rise in the pump line pressure. When pump line pressure drops below the control knob setting, the pilot relief closes, flow through the orifice ceases, and the main spring can reseat the main poppet. Now that you have seen the valve's operation in segments, click on Full Sequence to watch the whole animation uninterrupted.